guys, it is October 10th, and this is my first first sit of the year by myself. Uh, opening day, Saturday, I took the kids out, and then Tuesday evening I took Finn out. Seen lots of deer, a uh, lot of does, a few little bucks, but you know I have three bucks this year that I would I would shoot. Um, three of them that are four and a half but they've kind of disappeared on me I haven't really seen them since July uh, there's a lot of corn around the area this year and two years ago that's how it was also and the deer seem to just stay in the cornfields until they're cut so I'm expecting uh, expecting some things to pick up here today I'm just gonna sit here for maybe another half hour I did see three does early on but then we're going to check a couple cameras that I haven't checked in a while that are up top here. Uh, this week's been tough. It's been an east wind all week. Um, and I just don't have too many stands set up for that. So the stand I'm in this morning here is up on a nice oak bench. It is good for an east wind, but uh, there's no acorns up here this year. So last year all those bucks were up here feeding. So... You know, basically based off my data from last year and the year before, this is the only place I've had pictures of those deer this time of the year, so that's why I'm up here, but wasn't expecting much, but having a blast with it. Uh, excited to take the kids out this year. Once those big deer start showing up, I might hunt a little more for myself, but I really don't want to pressure things, so. It's nice this camera arm just keeps swinging on me. But anywho, I'm going to try to get, you know, a little more action-packed vlogs versus just me talking like we did last year. So, you might not see a vlog every week if I'm not having much action, but I'm going to try to keep pumping these out throughout the season. It's fun for you guys to kind of follow along, so. Saturday evening, Finn and I are back out. Finally got a west wind here in Pennsylvania, and we'll finally be able to hunt our top food plot. Lots of days have been coming in. Hopefully a buck comes. Um, or an any day. We're excited, aren't we, buddy? Mm -hmm. We can get one. Yeah. <laughs> Just chowing down on some sunflower seeds. Seeds. Mm -hmm. The old langard hanging up. We're excited. Alright, so we've been waiting all day to get out. It's October 15th. Wind's coming out of the south, which is perfect for this redneck. Ben and I have hunted this spot here two evenings now, and we've always seen deer. So we're hoping something comes in close. Either a big buck for me to shoot or a small buck or doe or whatever, huh, for, for Finn to shoot. It has to be close, but we can do it. We can definitely do it. It's a beautiful evening. Uh, big rainstorm, cold front's coming. Rainstorm tomorrow and Friday. So uh, we're optimistic tonight. We've been excited to get out. I picked Finn up from school and we rushed out here, so. You pumped, buddy? Yeah. 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 That's all you have to say? Yeah. I tried to get Finn to do this interview. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> but he wouldn't do it. I don't blame him. Let's do it, buddy. Let's get something.
should be deer hunting or groundhog hunting. Last time I shot a groundhog, it screwed me out of a big, big buck. Really? Remember Widowmaker? I shot him in the shoulder because he smelled that groundhog. Let's hope, let's hope this one <laughs> doesn't do the same. Wait, I can shoot him before he smells the ground. Well, the good thing is, is if he gets to that point and stops, I'll kill him right there. So, a big buck if that happens. I'll kill him too. Man, this, this, this ground blind's a killing spot for groundhogs. Well guys, it is October 18th, just got out of the stand, I, because of work I could only hunt for an hour, um, but I was in the stand from 7 to 8 o'clock, saw two bucks, and three doe, four doe, so it was a good morning, still waiting on the big boys to show up, I'm going to try to keep vlogging here and launch this every two weeks instead of every week. Especially when there's boring content and only, basically only, only me talking into the camera or a slight footage of deer. So uh, I don't want to bore you guys. I want to try to get some action on film this year and uh, kind of document my journey. So stay safe and shoot straight.
he's going down. Oh my word, he's down right there. are still wet from last night so I couldn't hear anything it's a little windy and uh, that fawn snuck right in on me and I'm sorry I'm kind of sidetracked that fawn snuck right in on me and she kept oh, it was a button buck he kept looking back <coughs> sudden I turned around and all I could see was that buck's horns coming through the thick stuff. That is fun. I can see I can see my arrow sitting there. the buck laying there dad I know the focus is bad because I don't have real great uh, light yet mom yeah. tell dad I shot a buck yeah down at Andy's I watched him go down. He's only 20 yards from my stand. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Phones are having all kinds of issues. Okay. Bye-bye. Is gonna come down and help me take care of the buck and help me get some pictures. I just had a feeling that this morning things were gonna work out, and sure enough, they did. stuff that I want to be doing in the fall. I mean, I loved archery hunting. That's my true passion. I want to try to take my kids out a lot more so I can do that on some doe hunts now. And, uh, I kind of fall in love with musky fishing, so I'm going to do some of that. I'm going to try to do the, uh, ultimate cast and blast today and shoot a buck and then go catch a 40-inch musky.
Definitely bring him up over. Yeah, he did not make it far. Long beams. Does he have brows? Nope. No, he doesn't. It's not as big of a buck as a tall one. No. <laughs> you might be lucky if he breaks a hundred. He's huh. pretty younger deer, too. They've brought points now. Well, there's your big six. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. Say so that's about the shortest track job I've ever seen, minus a spine shot. Let me stop recording. Yeah. So I'm just leaving my dad's place <clears throat> with the boat hooked on. I'm gonna go musky fish for a little bit, but some bad news about that buck hunt from this morning. When we were, as soon as me and my brother and I walked up to it, we could tell it stunk. Just an odor I wasn't familiar with. And uh, got it in and got it home. And as soon as I got it out of the bed of my truck, I noticed that in the bed of my truck was just some nasty looking liquid. And it, right away I started to suspect that maybe it had gangrene. And sure enough, when we skinned it, you could see on the point of its shoulder through the fur, the point of its right shoulder, it looked like it had a 22 hole. And sure enough, when we skinned it, the underneath the right shoulder was just full of gangrene. So I called the game warden. I haven't heard back from him yet. I don't know if I'll get another buck tag. I don't know what'll happen, but I definitely can't eat the meat. I'd be happy even if they just gave me a doe tag for it. At least that way I can put some more meat in the freezer. So, we'll see what happens. I'll update you once he gives us a call.